What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and this is a question that I get so so much. I decided to do a video about it. Question is Alex, what do I buy for accessories? I, I have a good fashion sense. I have good style. I think I have a lot of good clothes, but I need some accessories to spice things up. What do I need? So today I have a list of seven accessories that I believe every guy needs to own. And a pocket square is one of those accessories that you never need it until you do. And then you're like, man, I really wish I need a pocket square. Or you don't even know what a pocket square is. Well, in that case, let me tell you, every guy should own at least one suit, right? A black or a gray suit. Now, that's not an accessory, that's just, you need a suit. But if you don't have a pocket square, the suit looks very plain, it doesn't really look complete. With a pocket square, it's just going to look so, so much better. Pocket square is that basically piece of fabric in a square shape that you put into your pocket right here. And I see so many guys, man, good looking guys with an amazing suit that fits them well and they forget the pocket square. It's one of those things that you're not gonna wear a lot. You're gonna wear it maybe once a year, twice a year for a wedding or something like that. But man, it's gonna go along so well with that suit. The thing is to get that elevated, elegant, classy look, it's gonna be all about the details and the pocket square That'll do it. If you don't have one, I would recommend you start with a white pocket square. Next up, something that I am always wearing. Every single day, I just, I can't see myself not wearing a watch, man. I love watches, I have a lot of watches, but the everyday man, the average guy, should have at least one watch. You know, I would say something with a black band or a stainless steel watch that is nice and classy. Watches are, I understand, they go from, you know, 50 bucks, to like literally millions of dollars. You don't have to spend that much, you really don't. Just get something that you're gonna be comfortable with, something that is going to be versatile and goes along well with a bunch of your different outfits so that you don't have to buy a bunch of watches if you don't want to. Next up, something that I really wanna start using again, uh, an accessory that I, I love using and that I just haven't been able to use as much lately and that is great luggage. You know, traveling, is something that we're gonna be able to do now, again, now that things are getting better, right? But I'm telling you, man, when you have nice luggage, it makes it even better. It makes you want to travel even more. It makes you wanna roll up to the airport looking like a boss, right? And today's sponsor, Carl Friedrich, they have incredible leather goods and they have so much more. I have their carry-on and their carry-on is classy, man. It's so lightweight, it looks incredible. I love it, it is amazing. And also something that I started using recently from Carl Friedrich is their organizer, their luggage organizer. So you put everything into Q Cubes, you organize it properly so that it's not loose and you know bouncing around inside your luggage. So your shoes can go in one of the cubes and then you can put your underwear and socks into a different one and keep everything organized when you travel so that you're not just throwing things into your suitcase and you can't find anything, you're just throwing things out when you get there. Keep things organized. It's one of those things that you don't really think about and then when you see it, like here in this video, you're like, oh wow, that makes a lot of sense. Why didn't I do this sooner? Like for example, you travel somewhere and then you throw your dirty clothes into your luggage again with your clean clothes. You can't do that. But now that you have the cubes, you can actually just put your dirty clothes into one of those cubes and keep them separate from the rest that are clean. I have a weekender bag from them and the leather is high quality. Definitely recommend it. It's also very fashionable whether you're going with the carry-on, the check-in bag, the weekend bag. The carry-on that I have even comes with a battery pack so you can charge your phone on the go and never run out of juice. I absolutely hate when that happens. And if you don't know the different kinds of luggage or how to choose the best one for you, don't worry, Carl Friedrich has you covered. You can actually just go to their website by clicking the link in the description below, provide your email, and you're gonna get a full catalog of all of their products so that you can choose the best size and the best design for you. I've been working with Carl Friedrich for years now and they, the quality of their products is always, it literally still surprises me when they come out with new products. I'm like, this is incredible, it feels so nice and classy. So check that first link in the description below. Make sure that you look your best when you're rolling through the airport. The next accessory that every guy needs, no matter what age, no matter what, I'm telling you, you need sunglasses. Whether you are a sunglasses guy or not, you're gonna be wearing them because no one wants to drive looking into the sun, right? Squinting. Sunglasses give you that cool look, you know what I'm saying? I really enjoy sunglasses. I have probably way too many of them. 
To be honest, to be fair, maybe I should give some away. Let me know if you guys want me to do a giveaway. I might do one on my Instagram, so check that out soon. But a huge benefit of wearing sunglasses that you may not know is that when you're squinting into the sun, right, you're creating, literally creating wrinkles, permanent wrinkles into your face around your eyes. When you have sunglasses, it's going to prevent you from squinting, which in turn prevents you from getting wrinkles. So not only are they going to make you look amazing, they will also make you look younger for years to come. And if you don't own a pair of sunglasses yet, I would say go with something black or brown. Keep it nice and simple. Next on the list, a hat. Look, I'll be honest with you. I can't even, I can't even wear a hat right now. It barely fits my head. Like my hair is just, it's just so long, man. But uh, I am getting a cut this week, so there's that. But look at that, it just looks kind of funky. But everyone likes to wear hats, right? Whether you're going outside and you just don't really feel like doing your hair. What I have been doing though, is kind of putting it in the bun, and then putting the bun through here. It's kind of a look, I, I enjoy it. I've been wearing hats to work out. Every time I work out outdoors, I wear a hat because like I said, I don't want to be squinting. I don't want that sun on my face. I want to protect my face from that sun damage that happens, especially here in Los Angeles right now in springtime and summertime. Sometimes you just don't want to do your hair. You don't really want to mess with it. You just want to look casual. A hat is the way to go. I will say, don't try to buy the hats that have a lot of designs and embroidered this and glitter here and there. Try to go for something simple first. Ideally, no logos, no design, nothing. Just super clean. Go for that first and then start exploring with other designs. Next up, boys, if you are still wearing boxers that are super loose, that don't look good and do not accentuate your body in the right way, you know what I'm saying? Then, then what are you doing? I just broke something. Boxer briefs, that's the way to go, man. That's the way to go. I used to wear boxers back when I was a teenager and then I got into boxer briefs and I never went back. I never went back. The truth is, girls prefer boxer briefs. Your body is going to look better in boxer briefs. That old style of boxers with the patterns and stuff and the designs, that's not a good look. It looks very childish, you know? So if you're, I guess if you're like an early teenager, that's okay. But if you're a man, it's time to level up. It's time to upgrade into boxer briefs. And I'm telling you, your partner, if you have one, is going to love it. And also, whenever you bring you know, a person home, they're going to enjoy it, trust me. It's going to look much better on you. And if you're just making the switch, or if you wanna get new boxer briefs, I would say go with darker colors, because that's gonna look really, really good on you. Next on the list, I get this question all the time, Alex, should I wear a backpack to work? Where can I find really nice backpacks? Right, because the reality is, some backpacks, they can look kind of frumpy, they can look too sporty, and if you're going to work, it's not gonna be a good look. You're gonna to look too casual, right? The truth is, if you're in a professional environment, a backpack is probably not gonna be the best look. A briefcase is probably gonna be best. But I will say, man, I have seen some beautiful backpacks and Carl Friedrich actually has some. Dude, they look incredible. If you get a nice leather backpack, there's almost no need for a briefcase. Nowadays, I would say, Skip the briefcase if you can, go with a leather backpack that acts as both, that is both classy and easy, right? Because the briefcase is a lot harder to carry, you gotta put the one shoulder strap or you gotta carry it with your hands. The backpack is way more comfortable, way more practical. So if you can make a backpack look amazing, and trust me, Carl Friedrich definitely has some incredible ones, then it's just gonna be way, way better. Guys, make sure to check out Carl Friedrich. It's the first link in the description below. And of course, you can follow me on TikTok or Instagram. It's at Alex Costa. I also wanna know, what other accessories do you think that men should have? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.